Hey guys, welcome into the Poker Reborn channel. We are back with another eSport tournament number four, and I'm joined today with Shinobi. Hey everybody, how's it going? We do have a little bit of technical difficulty. We are only down to one guy. It's gonna be Medieval Cyborg. With that being said, guys, we are gonna go to a wheel, and we're gonna roll that right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes! Yes, there we go. All right, so with that being said, guys, we have the Northern Raiders as the starting get. You know, what What do you think about that? The origin, start, uh, of course, the Northern Raiders. What do you think, Shinobi? I think that this is going to be one of the most exciting or boring tournaments we've seen all wrapped up into one. The way that this is going to unfold with the unexplored map and having all those hostile territories around our guys is just going to be so exciting to see. On the flip side, if they can make it out of the hostile north, get south, start racking up some wins, they're going to be able to pick up some real easy armor with that special ability that the Northern Raiders have. Yeah, I think... Uh, that's, I know. Uh, go ahead. Yep. I, I was going to say, I know when, when I first started playing the game, the Northern Raiders was the start that I clung to a lot just because being a new player, it's so nice to get that armor. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the big thing here is the number one thing is getting from the north to the south. Now, the real handicap comes with the fact that everybody is stuck in the south. Uh, they, they are limited to either the, the, city, the southern city-states and also they are limited to, the, of course, the south, uh, the south kingdom. So it's going to be interesting. And this map, right now the map is going to be dollar bill as the setup. And as we get into this... Uh, you know, we, who knows? They could only be like three towns in the south. Your trading and whatnot could be kind of rough. But it, the kills is the biggest thing here. Being able to harvest, essentially, to farm all that armor. Get your guys set up. This could be a really good run or it can fizzle out really quick. So with that, guys, we're waiting on one more guy to load in. Uh, so we will take just a quick sec here. With everybody set up here, we are going to start, guys, in three, two one go so now as you can see everybody everybody's gonna have the same exact map that's part of the beauty of this um, very excited to see what everybody's plan is getting to the south shinobi what do you think i think it's gonna be real exciting bravo wolf is already on the move you've got sober jan doing the bonding ritual between his three buddies there <laughs> we've seen a few times before and oh you Tigran is striking out. He's hitting some mountains, getting a good lay of the land. Mm. Oh, I really thought Bravo Wolf was going to go for that trading yeah, caravan. That's that would have been exciting to that pick up right away. No doubt. That would have been crazy. He, it was only seven, but, you know, the one thing, too, did Bravo Wolf, uh, did he check out his guys yet? Like, was he, um, did he end up leveling Very his guys up? Did he? Okay. I don't know if he leveled them up, but he, he looked at them briefly and then just ran like a madman. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's this is the big part of it, guys. When you start out, you you don't know what's going to come up against you. Uh, it could literally be you get attacked right off the bat. You have, oh, we have our first fight oh, down here, got, Tankalicious. Yep. Oh, Tankalicious and Bravo Wolf. And Bravo Wolf. So oh, Tankalicious is hitting the caravan. Yep, so we're looking at Tankalicious right now. Uh, he has got it set up. Now, this is the thing. Even though he's got these guys, there are the strong strategy here is going with adrenaline early on. Get those first hits in. You have really good brothers in the, uh, and, and of course, these barbarians. So there is a chance. Plus, you come with a dog. That's another po positive. But you have to be methodical about your kills, getting, getting, you know, eating through them, being on point with all these different, uh, we're just getting at them, right? Right. You know, and Tankalicious has a wonderful opportunity here to pick up some good armor. Whereas I think that on the flip side, we're going to see a good weapon pickup for Bravo Wolf. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Bravo Wolf is taking the three high ground. He's going to take advantage of this as best as he can. I I'm curious to see. I think he's going to use the monk to just kind of pull the guys oh, away, break okay. them up. And this is a great strategy, of course. We've seen this in the past with... Oh, who was it that ended up doing? I think it was Severus. Tankalicious lost a raider. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was Severus. But yeah, Tankalicious lost a raider. So yeah, down a raider already, that's incredibly rough. That is a tough that is a tough day, right? So you can see everybody Absolutely. it's funny because everybody went in 
and checked out this an initial caravan. You have yourself Sober Jan. He's doing it too. We'll jump over here real quick. So Sober Jan is taking on the same caravan. Of course, there's a variation, a randomization of these uh, of these of the caravan hands for the seven people at the cart. But uh, yeah, it's I, I don't know. I, I feel like that might be a bit much to start, uh, but. Who's to say, right? I mean, it could be... If, if RNG Absolutely. gets you, it could be the end. So. Tankalicious retreating from another combat. He ran yep. into a hostile town. Yep, that's rough. But here's here's the killer, guys. The, the one thing that really gets you is when, you, when you're heading south and a noble army gets, like, catches you, the, the big issue is that they have dogs. And if the dogs grab you, you're, you're stuck in place. You either have to kill the dogs and then retreat which is very difficult because they're coming in there you know here comes the army screaming in once they grab you that's the end there there's no real winning except for if your monk can get out of there uh bravo wolf looking at him right now he is just you know using He's the high ground that's, up there. yeah that's the way yep. that is honestly the way you want to go about this and these weapons are devastating through armor pure damage and with these skills that these guys do come in with it's uh, it's a beautiful sight And then, let's see here. So, Tankalicious is being chased to the south. We got ourselves uh, Tigran. We haven't really said much about him. He's just, he's really trying to avoid those towns <laughs> as he's going it, south. It looks like he and he and Tankalicious are right around the same area, though. Oh, no. Which means Tankalicious is going to run into that noble house. Oh, he oh, cut up. Oh, no. That was a good move. Oh, no. Oh, Tigran run, ran into an army. He's having a little bit of stream problems here right now. But he ran into an army, and luckily there are no dogs in this army. What are the odds? Tankalicious is in a really dangerous spot. He's being chased. Oh, and he got caught in the mountains. Uh, oh, no. no. It's not. If, if I was Tankalicious at this point, I might cut my losses, pull a rock prime, yeah. take that negative four. And... Oh, and he's surrounded. Oh, yeah. Uh oh Yep. So he's going yeah, to take, take the four-point loss, and there's you know no shame in that. Obviously, you see, uh, we'll go back over to Bravo Wolf. Bravo Wolf has so handled this no the problem. Bodies of his feet. Yeah, he did end up losing one, one barbarian, which is very that. I, it's, <laughs> it's tough to say how big of a deal it is at this point. Um, it is a big deal. It okay, so it is a big deal. But, um. It, it, I guess what matters here is what is he going to gain from this fight. He killed a lot of guys. He's got a lot of armor, a lot of tools on the ground. So we'll just have to see. The other thing, too, I don't know if you noticed this, Shinobi, but looking at Sober Jan. I think Tank Glitch just loaded in in the wrong um, seed on his restart. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to take a quick... We're going to pause real quick, guys. Okay, technical difficulties, of course. Uh, we have ourselves an interesting deal here. So Tiger or Tigran ended up facing a mercenary band already. He got caught up. See, this is the dangers, right, Shinobi? This is the dangers of this oh, yeah. run. There is no way that you can predict who's going to send what after you, what towns you're going to run in. The unexplored map adds a whole new level of danger to this start. 100%. Yeah, it's and that's that's really the killer right now. I'm gonna let's actually keep an eye on this. Uh, so one of the one of the tactics you can do if you're not gonna restart is just to run away, get away from this, get somebody out, and and then just like pretty much cutting your losses. Oh, you don't want to goodness, with Sober this Jan many is, guys, but yeah. Sober Jan is down to just one raider and his monk. Right. It's I mean it's absolutely killer. Just kind of watching here, it, it just doesn't look. This does not look promising. Believe it or not. I mean. I'm sure. No. I'm sure that's uh I'm sure that's pretty obvious, but yeah. Yeah, I mean not not good, man. Not good. Not a good situation here. It doesn't look like that's gonna pan out well. Luckily so Tankalicious, we did end up meeting with him about this, making the right decision. Oh, Bravo Wolf didn't take on that encampment. Do you Three. see that? That's interesting. I thought mm -hmm. he had taken on the encampment. Did not, and unfortunately, Stoberjan uh -huh. is now running into another army. Now, this is the beautiful thing about this is he still has a chance to get out of there. <laughs> this is like just a madhouse. It just feels like a bomb blew up, and this is exactly the fears that come up when you're playing the Northern Raiders. 
and you have right now Tanklish is avoiding more conflict. You you know this is killer. You, just looking at oh he just walks by oh. and then he gets caught by some raiders. Wow, what a deal! Uh, I'm keeping Bravo it on the. Found his settlement. Yep. So Bravo Wolf made it to his settlement, so that is good. He did lose one guy, but I think he just bought a guy as well. So again, it could be a lot worse. He, you know, he made it out. These guys here need to make a decision here if they want to restart. There's still an opportunity. Uh, actually, did did I didn't see it, but did Tigran end up restarting? It looks like he did. Yes. Yeah, yes, he, he did, did end up restarting, so that you know that comes with the cost. So we have two guys that had to restart. Soberjan is on his last leg. He's doing everything he can to avoid those four points. This puts Bravo Wolf out in a very, a very heavy lead. Uh, but that's the risk, man. When you when you come into this, you never know. When we roll that origin, you just never know what's coming, and that's that's a huge part of this. And as we saw in the second tourney with Rock Prime. These guys are not out of the competition yet. I mean, it, short of Bravo Wolf self-destructing or having a nigh-perfect restart, I'm not sure what they could do, but mm -hmm. there are opportunities. Right. Yeah, that's just the name of the game, guys. This is probably the, the most, uh, I don't want to say the most difficult start to run into, but it, I mean, there's a lot I, of weight definitely here. Definitely the most volatile. Right, right. Yes, the most volatile. That's... Definitely the word best best chosen here. So, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Just, I mean, this has been amazing to watch. Like, the, I, I feel bad for these guys. But now you've got Tankalicious down there fighting some dire wolves. Mm -hmm. Well, if he can gang up on him, I think it'll be all right. But again, the three attacks can be pretty devastating. Uh, but yeah, it's it comes with the territory. It's what what right now my initial thoughts with everything going on is it's it's really unfortunate thus far that, um, you know I, I really want to see more guys not with this negative four and with two of them down. That's assuming that you have. Let's see here. If Soberjan can somehow make this work, he had a lot of sell. He's got a lot of selling stuff. I think it looks like he's at his first town. So, in terms of the you know where these what these guys can do how they can turn their campaign around that's really the main thing to be focused on right now it's it's all up in the air it feels like <laughs> yeah it's still 100 percent anybody's game they, they just got a really tough game ahead of them having right. gone out so early oh definitely definitely just that exactly and then we have so once again tankalicious he lost uh it looks like two brothers mm -hmm. this is just not looking too good so essentially if he does go out one more time here he ends up being like you can't i don't i don't know it, it's it's pretty much done at that point <laughs> and it looks like that's yeah, where that's, it's heading uh, lock in that fourth place solidly yep. mm -hmm. super yeah. unfortunate yeah it's very unfortunate this this is the thing when you walk into this it, you have to have it's not to say when you play this you have to have a solid strategy going in um, like the best strategy ever but like with the northern raiders if you don't know how to avoid like you want to find towns I think that becomes part of the issue but I don't know you, you just got it's it's just a tough situation for these guys I mean it's really unfortunate that this has happened uh, at this point but um, you know there, this is a map seed that I'm gonna look at later with the uh, map explored just so I can see what kind of kind of odds they were really up against here from the start right so one more thing here we do have a very unfortunate deal here so tigran is also in a nasty position he is restarting again um so he got caught by a noble house the the dogs ended up catching him so that becomes a <laughs> it's almost like a wash right here so these guys are tied at the bottom here you have tankalicious and you have tigran tied um what Right now, uh, what we're gonna do here, Shinobi? Do you want? How about you message? Uh, can you message Tankalicious and just let him know? Uh, keep fighting. You know, ultimately, I know when you yeah. when you're down two, it feels like it's over. But just let him know it's not it's not over. Don't tell him anything's going on, obviously, but it's not over just yet. So, anyways, with that, guys, looking at the screen here, you know, Tigran going in for the the third time. You have to assume that other guys are going through the same thing that you're going through. 
mind you, nobody in here, not a single guy knows what's going on. Not a single guy. They, they don't know if, like, Bravo Wolf doesn't know if he's on par with anybody else. Sober Dan doesn't know if he's on par with anybody else as well as the rest. And that makes it uh, for more of an interesting situation. While this has been a rough start to a tournament, it is not over. There's a lot that can happen. The stress level becomes a real, uh, a real thing here. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I will say, however, we do have more. It's it's funny. This is this is amazing to me. You have yourself, uh, Sober Jan, who literally lost all of his brothers, but because of the fights that he came into, and he walked out with, you know, his gear. He walked out with one brother. I think it was a raider. I think it's this guy in the south right here. But it's it's a tough call because he. Either way, he ends up with all these brothers at the end. He he has a more uh, more established force, I guess. This is where it comes down to strategy. If he can do just fine, he'll be he'll be neck and neck with Bravo. It's when we get to the 30 minute mark, we'll go over the stats, see what's going on. But uh, for now, it looks like we have a pretty even deal between Bravo Wolf and Sober Jan. But uh, we all know. Who, you know, there's a lot of guys, if you guys don't already know, we're going to go over the character sheets for all these guys uh, so you guys have a better understanding of who they are. And uh, we do have one Twitch uh, streamer here today. It's going to be Bravo Wolf. I want to give a shout out to the Wolf Pack, of course. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, an awesome, I know I've, I've watched him in the past and whatnot. He's an awesome father, I'll say that. So I'm sure his kids are, are going to be watching this. So. Uh, definitely, definitely a cool thing how involved his kids are and how he's involved with them in this stuff. So very cool. Uh, and then we have ourselves, of course, Sober Jan again, going back to him. Interestingly enough, uh, this spear wall, spear wall, huge deal. You have yourself the spear wall can honestly make your early game. If you guys are new to Battle Brothers or you've been playing for a while, early game strategy spears are fantastic, especially if you can come across a boar spear like uh, Sober Jan has, that is a huge, huge deal. Um, the, the Being able to spear wall, warding off the enemy, uh, it may not be the heightened damage, the full damage, you do get a beat debuff to that, but ultimately, uh, the enemy, especially brigand thugs and a lot of beasts, they'll just run into the spear wall, killing themselves and causing those morale checks, so definitely cool. Uh, looks yeah, like- Yeah, something that we've been playing in every tournament so far. Spear walls are the way to go. Definitely. Now this is kind of funny. We have Tigran. Look at his force. He's got three armies. Going, three, not armies, but he's got two brigands. He's got uh, the the Noxiers. He had them chasing him down. Just in, just crazy. Some of these guys just can't get, yeah. catch a break, it feels like, you know? <laughs> but. Hey, I mean, at this point, I feel bad. Like, we're putting these guys through something they don't deserve. Yeah. Hey, but that's Battle Brothers. This is the beauty about it, guys. When we had set this up, it's not about, uh, we want, you know, I have sympathy for the guys that come into this and things aren't working out. You know, obviously we've had some gut wrenching. It's the name of the game. Yeah. It's the name of the game. We've had some gut wrenching things that have happened uh, when playing. And that is a, I mean, it's just part of the Battle Brothers experience itself. So. Definitely a part of just the Battle Brothers experience. Yeah, my my PC did the thing, guys. If you notice, the screen froze for a moment there, but uh, but we're back and rocking and rolling. Shinobi can now hear me. <laughs> I can now hear him. Yeah. So Shinobi, let's go through the 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 list here. Let's go down with the guys. We got about ten minutes until we are going into the thirty minute mark. So. Uh, Let's start with, let's go from the bottom and work our way around. Let's start with uh, with uh, Tigran. What do you know about Tigran? Uh, what are your thoughts here on what we should be seeing? Uh, Tigran's a guy that came into the Discord very, very excited about the tournament format. Uh, from what we should have seen, it's hard to say. He has had one of the worst strings of luck we've seen in tournament history right alongside Tankalicious Stink Bottom. It's normally these guys go in, battles, methodical. It's it's your standard Battle Brothers play, but when you throw them a curveball, like Unexplored Map Northern Raiders, gloves are off. Right. 
Oh, what's he doing here? Is he retreating? Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, no doubt. It's this. This is a totally different uh, set. There's guys. Trust me when I say, like, we've done a lot of uh, testing the just all different types of strategies and how you can break this and uh, what's the most effective and what are the point systems and everything. And I can tell you right now, this is not this is not an easy setup because while you might have your strategy, as soon as the lights are on. And you're by yourself like everybody's watching you know that you have that in the back of your head you don't know what's going on on the guy next to you you have no idea and that excitement goes for miles really um, but at the same time it can also make you do unorthodox strategies you wouldn't have thought you'd do in the past and that it can be very damning to your your campaign so definitely if you want to be a part of this guys uh, you can hit the link down below for the Discord as well. Please hit that like so other people can see this content. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the more subscriptions, of course, this is this obviously is my channel, but I want to bring Battle Brothers to a a new light. You know what I mean, like a new high. So we're gonna do that. That's the that's the that's the goal right now. But uh, yeah, with that being said, Shinobi, what do you think about Tankalicious now? Tankalicious is a great guy. He joined the Discord about a week ago. Has been super fun and involved. And he has a couple of really good high end game runs that I've watched quite a bit of. He's done one practice run. I think it was poachers that he got. And he, he had a tough time with that, like quite a few of our guys did. But he's a solid player and look for him to bounce back real real nice now that he's got a couple more brothers on his squad yeah he definitely may see and sometimes it takes third times to charm right and that's pretty much what had happened here um right what do you think i, I say we score these two guys up for third and fourth place yeah i don't see it not happening that way just because the 30 minute mark is seven minutes away and so with it being seven minutes away, we have, you know, looking at the landscape right now, um, it, I don't see how, I mean, if, if we get past 30 minutes and somebody goes down between Bravo Wolf and Sober Jan, it's over. Like, that's the game. Yeah. You know, so uh, whereas these guys can restart, they can keep going and, you know, eat those negative points. But, what, you know, so what's more, what's more damning? To, to leave now because you just couldn't get the first two to work or to stick it out and somebody else goes out that never lost anybody in the first place you know that that again is the risk you take you don't when you guys join don't give up just don't give up like you can't th this is battle brothers uh this is the point this is why we love battle brothers the danger the, the excitement of what's to come so and I will say this, you know, in my thoughts with Tankalish. So I'll say with Tigran real quick. Once again, Tigran, I didn't say, I don't think I said much about him, but I have not seen any of his, his strategies or anything. But uh, the guy is a cool cat. I'll say that. Um, and then you have Tankalicious. Tankalicious, I've spent a lot of time with this guy. Like you said, newer guy to the Discord. But what an awesome guy. Perspective and everything. He is just a, he's, he's a rock star. Uh, and he does... He does some unorthodox things when he's playing and stuff. I've, I have watched his content. He's he's just an awesome guy. I don't know. I think he has, with this start right here, yeah, he just lost a brother, but I think he's in a better position to be more effective. Um, Absolutely. Still got all three of his raiders up. He's got an archer now. Pitchfork in that monk's hands. He's in a good spot. Right. Um, now, the next one, let's go over. Uh, so let's talk about Sober Jan. Sober Jan's an interesting one. What do you think? Sober Jan is an interesting guy. He's a, he's a real cool cat. The guy is <clears throat> a really good, well-rounded, solid Battle Brothers player. He excels a lot. What I've seen in combat strategies, he, you know, the way he was, he's got spears now. He's going to go that mainline spear wall. He's got a good formation of brothers. I think he's still going to give Bravo Wolf a run for his money here. Oh yeah, definitely. He seems like, and again, I haven't seen his play. So a lot of these guys, just so you guys know, hasn't haven't been a part of the uh, the practice runs. When you do join the tournaments, you don't have to do practice runs, but it's definitely beneficial, and we'll give you guys tips on how uh, how the how things work. If you guys do want to know 
how the strategy of this all works, like or the the scoring system. We will be dropping a video on the scoring system. So I, I don't know if it's already been dropped or not by the time you guys see this, but uh, there will be something coming up. Otherwise, if you join the Discord, we do have a we do have it pinned, so you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, no, Sober Jan is is a very uh, I don't know how to explain it. I haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen his combat. A lot, a lot of it's unfortunate you don't see the combat, but he seems like he's got his wits about him. He's so far, he's cool, calm, collect, and that is really what you need to be effective at this point. Uh, this this run in particular, this is not one. This is not for the faint of hearts. You know, this is a very. This can be a very tough uh, run with the Raiders, but. Um, but yeah, so then uh, we're going to move over to Bravo Wolf. I did end up making a comment about Bravo Wolf, Wolf earlier. As you guys know, he's one of the top Battle Brother Twitch uh, players. He makes awesome content, really down to earth, uh, great. Like one thing I noticed, guys, I'm a father myself, and I admire the fact that I've watched his streams in the past, and he's very family oriented, or he's with his kids and stuff. I think that's really cool. But uh, when it comes to the strategy itself, the guy is. He's a he's a tankerer. We'll say it like that. Like he tankers with a lot of different things. He does a lot of uh, he does some unorthodox strategies and whatnot. But for what it's worth, it's very effective. He's a very effective uh, Battle Brothers players. I have thought nothing less of what we've seen so far on how he plays. Uh, I'm very. I, I think it's gonna come down to him and somebody else. And a, a lot of that is speculated speculative based on what we've seen thus far. So, uh, anything you want to add to that, or anything you? Uh... Yeah, th I mean, it's. <clears throat> I, I honestly don't see how this run could have gone much better for him. He got right down there. He was the first one to find a friendly settlement, and he's just been putting in work ever since. He's got a good jump on these guys. Right. Yeah, he's doing. Yeah, he's gonna be just fine. Um... Yeah, so that's going to be the roundup between all these guys. Also, no guys, if you do want to join the tournament, if you do part, if you are a part of the tournament, uh, when you do these tournaments, we do hold a scorecard for you. So what the deal right now is we're going through five different uh, different tournaments. We want to see if something's broken because we haven't been able to find anything yet through our practice runs. After that, we do want to, um, you know, we want you guys to have your own platform we want to take brother like I say battle brothers to a new height and you can make a name for yourself in doing so if you would like uh, by joining of course uh, the fifth tournament we'd like to have all the champions face off but uh, it, you know it doesn't always work that way we just want to continue to provide this for the community mm -hmm. and try something different um, uh, absolutely and new content's gonna keep driving the game forward you know we, we love this game, everyone. It's a small community, and we want to be more close-knit, reach out to as many as we can, and get everybody involved to see that this game is a lot bigger than you just sitting there with your brothers. Right. Yeah, it's hard to believe a multiplayer uh, avenue exists, and this is this is the outlet. So, um, looking at it, guys, we are about, we're about not even, we're about a minute out. Uh, we were looking. I was looking at Tankalicious. He is just steamrolling some of these guys. Um, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's, what do I say? It's kind of. It's pretty cool. Silver Jan just got. He lost two brothers, but I want to see his loot. He did end up with that iron hook. Huge deal. Iron hook for the win. Uh, we've already seen that with a few different in, in the last two tournaments. The iron hook has been very effective. Get rid of that little pitchfork there and start lobbing some heads off, cutting some shoulders off. Um, that's pretty sweet. It's just nice to see everybody starting to plane out, starting to even out here as we go into the into the uh, first break. Uh, any final thoughts before we jump in? Man, Bravo Wolf has built himself up quite the force. He's in the south. I'm fingers crossed. We're gonna see some arena action. Oh yeah, soon enough. I'm sure. I'm sure he is gearing up for just that. Uh, with that being said, though, guys, I'm gonna keep. We'll keep that running, but let's bring in ourselves uh, Medieval, uh, or Cyborg, however you want to say that, of course. So, Cyborg, what what have we found so far? What do we know about the combat or combatants here? So, starting with Bravo Wolf, he has approximately 
uh, 15 kills. He's uh, he's also explored the most at like eight towns. He has eight brothers. He's obviously in a very solid spot. Though he just spent all his gold, so he doesn't have much of that. Also, he's actually kept all three of his uh, original brothers alive, which puts him in the lead as far as levels too. He's somewhere around like 13 or 10 or somewhere around there. And then you go to Sober John, who's like his, uh, his competition at this point. His problem is he has lost two of his raiders, so even though he's doing all right, he's quite a bit behind in levels and number of brothers. He's also explored a few less towns, uh, where Bravo Wolf is around uh, eight. He's around like six. But... Uh, <clears throat> Bravo Wolf just completed an ambition. Oh. Yeah, and then he put he's had that in there too. And then at the uh, the other end of things, we they've obviously had uh, both uh, Ticklicious and Tigran have both had uh, two restarts. Where uh, they are starting to stabilize now. Tigran is about he's at about uh, 11 kills at the moment. Tankalicious is about 13. Uh, and then, you know, the, the the levels depends on how many raiders they have. So while well, Tankalicious has like all three of his raiders, so he has nine levels. Uh, Tigran only has two, so he's, a, he's around six. Right on. Um, so... Yeah, so with this being said, guys, I, I just want to preface this again. Uh, so Cyborg is, like, literally, he came in last night and said, Hey, I would be willing to help out with <laughs> with all the, the metrics and stuff and, and being a part of the analysis. This is huge. This guy came in out of nowhere. And is because he's here, we're able to do this tournament. So, uh, dude, I just, like I say, I, I give a massive shout out to you. Uh, thank you so much for 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 being a part of this because again we wouldn't be able to do this without you. <laughs> you and um, you're doing a fantastic job. You are fantastic <laughs> job. It's, yeah, it's actually harder than I expected to be honest, but yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's going okay. Yeah. Well, no, I think you did a great yeah. job. You, you just uh, do the best you can, and it, again, right. it's not it's it is what it is. So right, thank uh, you. yeah. So guys, so pretty much uh, Shinobi, just any any final thought into what's going on. No, man, that laid it out perfectly. I think that painted a really clear picture of what's been going on in this run. Definitely. All right, guys, with that being said, we're going to go to a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Paid Shadow Peasants bringing you the absolute best in free-to-play, paid-to-win, coming to a Switch near you. Feel like a loser every day? Living a loser life with loser peasants, pay to win. Throw some dough at it. Better gear, better stats, better dress-up stuff, 500 million downloads or something. Better paid shadow peasants. All right, guys, we're back for the second stage, of course. This is the stage where guys are deter they're really establishing their party. They're figuring out what they want to do. We have some interesting fights going across the board. I think the main one right now is, uh, I, I want to say, Tigran. Tigran's in an interesting spot because, man, they have eaten him alive to the point that he's down to one brother left. This is killer. I think he's feeling it. He knows that the tournament is uh, at its at its wits end. Let's pull him in uh, real quick. Let's see if we can't. Uh, we might as well do the interview now. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Sport Ti guy. <laughs> Tigran, we're watching right now, man. We're gonna go right into your interview now. Uh, I know you're 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 down to the last bit here. You have to kill yes. that one last guy. I don't mean to hold. I know I said I wouldn't catch you in the middle of battle, man, but you did it. I'm ready. Oh the no! The battle is basically over. Yeah, the bleeding, right? Is it? Oh, the bleeding it's got him at the. Oh man! I hey. No. I cannot do anything. Yeah. This is the first time I wipe. I cannot do anything. Sorry. No, no, it's no. It, don't be sorry. Thank you yeah, for being here. I, I want you to know yeah. we, we definitely appreciate it, man. Um, <laughs> what, what was an hour and a what, what was the it hardest? Was what was the what was your biggest? Uh, what was what was the biggest hurdle in this for you? Uh, the biggest hurdle was that I got jumped by uh, a group that I saw and wanted to dodge, but somehow my mouse movement wasn't registered. 
Mm. So I tried to click north of the group so that I could flee, but then it didn't flee and I still got caught. And when I was trying to flee because it was 14 of them, one of my barbarians ran south, so he got caught. He didn't run to the map border west like everybody else. He ran south and got caught. And he was carrying the dog, so not only lost, did I lo lose my starting brother because of bullshit, I also lost my dog. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And then I had three men, I did the first fight, it was fine, but unfortunately the city I found didn't have a lot of people, so I could only buy two people. And this was the second fight I did, and yeah. My spear wall failed at the first try. Don, Don Bird, the black cat, failed his spear wall where I set up the choke point. So this failed and then, yeah. Yeah. It went pretty much downhill. So it sounds like a normal <laughs> Battle Brothers. <laughs> sounds it's like... Serious. It was the easiest start in the, in the game. Yeah. It was the easiest start, the easiest origin in the game and i i don't know why i don't know what to say i i, I, I gotta say man the unexplored map takes the, yeah, volat I, the volatility and the danger of this origin to the 10th 10th yeah. degree i mean the first time i wiped because i dodged a merc uh, not a merc company i dodged a, a militia a town militia and then immediately afterwards, I got jumped out of the fog by a merc company with dogs, so I couldn't run. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, we this were talking. my first fight. Yeah, and the second fight was the bullshit where I, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it is what it, it is, fun. man. It is what it is. But uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, here's here's the thing though. The number one thing that kills these runs is when you have. Uh, is those dogs if you get caught by a normal no a noble yeah. company and they throw those dogs out you you just can't you just can't recover you know and that's the really unfortunate thing you can't see that's the problem yeah exactly yeah. and i got i had that twice so well i got a bit unlucky right that's it it just got a bit unlucky i don't be discouraged i really <laughs> want to see in another one of these yeah we'd love to I see you in another one man I'm playing the game for a long, long time, and I I really enjoy it. But sometimes you just get unlucky. There's not a lot you can do. Right. I'm sorry to not put up a real show in this in this tournament because I just yeah. I mean, I didn't really do a lot. Like <laughs> I just ran over the map and got dumped by people with dogs. <laughs> right. Right. Well, again, that's that's just how it. I mean, it's it is what it is, man. We don't think any less. I'm sure the people who are going to be watching aren't going to think any less. It's literally just how it goes. But hey, the best the best thing that can happen is a redemption story, man. So please don't be afraid to come back and do another tournament. Uh, if you want, you can stick around until the very end. If if not, you know, coming in general, if you want to come back in another uh, 40 minutes or so. We'll go through yeah, if you, no it's you know and just get you catch you at the very end. But again, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you uh, doing the tournament. And for what it's worth, I, we get it. <laughs> no, no yeah. hard feelings, no doubt. I, I mean, no shame. Also, I'm not ashamed of that. Jesus Christ, I'm a grown up man. No, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, no, no shame in losing the battle, brothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a brutal game, and I mean, it's also entertaining to see how it can go when a few things don't fall your way. I think right. that's good for viewers, and now I have another motivation to prove myself for the next time. Hell yeah. So that I can do better. Hell yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to that. Right on, man. All right. Then enjoy your uh, enjoy your your tournament and good luck to the other competitors and yeah enjoy your weekend have fun. Right on, so we'll man. See you after a while for some final thoughts. Yep, take it easy, man. All right. All right. So that that there you have it, man. I I love it. I think it's uh he he put it in great perspective. You know, this is it's Battle Brothers, and the fact he's a. I'm a man. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it, it is what it is. You know, it, it happens. This is, th this that's just how it goes. And there's nothing. Yeah, no, no problem with that. He's gonna come back. I'm sure he'll, he'll uh, come back with vengeance. It'll be great. So, 
Um, with that being said, guys, I'm just kind of jumping around. We have Sober Jan going on or going against a bunch of nomads here. Just the the lower tiered. What are they called? Not uh, can't think of the not the outlaws, the cutthroats. So yeah, so that should be a pretty good fight. We do have Bravo Wolf taking on uh, four of the the um, what are Outlaw. they called? The outlaws. Now it's the outlaws, and. Man, he's using those those pole arms to full effect. You do have yourself with some some of his guys are feeling it. He did just lose a brother. Oh man, this see this is such a dangerous fight. You have all of them still healed up. Oh, he's starting to take out. This is gonna be an interesting. Well, we're gonna keep it on this right now. Let me just Ooh, back out. Yeah. Okay, so there he did it is. he did get one of them. Now that, again, this is very dangerous. A few shots if they if they. Take on the single singular shots, taking out his brothers. This could be really devastating. He does have, he, as you can see, he's using uh, adrenaline to keep him at the head of the fight. Very smart, especially with these pole arms. But yeah, it's a great strategy yeah. right now. Oh. If that two-handed axe can go down, oh. he's going to be in a really good spot. Oh. oh no! So here's what you can do, guys. In order to be taken out of the tournament. The, one of the biggest strategies you can have, if if things start going a little more south than this, which it's very possible, unfortunately, what he can do is he can run one of his brothers off the map, and you still have somebody. If he gets wiped here, he's done. This is crazy. This is legit crazy. It can if he goes down, it literally gives Tankalicious and Soberjan first or second place, which. Obviously, Sober Jan would be looking at first place at this point. Um, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but this is a very, very dangerous. I know he's sitting there right now. He's contemplating every move right now. So we'll have to see. We're going to keep, again, we'll keep it on this fight. This is just killer. The problem is you have, you have the Nomad Outlaw in the middle who is just, he's happy as tar. And, and these hits are not very strong. The, yes, he can, he can do a little more with the, the War Fork, but... If this guy dies here, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, my. oh this is not good. This is not good. This is, He's got a 30% you know, chance to hit, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. The Northern Raiders run is cracking up to be so exciting like oh, we thought it would be. I can't believe, like, well, it's not over yet. We I mean, he There he goes. He's got some good strikes. He's trying to be methodical about it. He could, he could end up with just one guy. This this one rate I will say this outlaw is a joke. <laughs> the one outlaw with this club is a joke. Yeah, yeah. there he goes. There we go. No, no, he, definitely he, he's not. He's missing over, everything. Gosh, it's so exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> that might have been the difference right there if he gets this last shot here. There it is. Oh there my is. goodness. And he did have a guy come back. He's missing an eye. That was as close as you can imagine. Uh, one of the the starting raiders ended up getting killed. Wow. That is that is Battle Brothers for you. <laughs> but if he had gotten wiped, this is the dangerous thing. If he had gotten wiped, he's done just like you saw a bit ago with uh, Tiger Tigran. So, but yep. then you have Tankalicious I, down oh, here. Can, or go ahead. I was gonna say Andy's offline now, so we might not get final thoughts from him. And that's all right. We I think he said everything he needed to really. I mean, I think he got out what he needed to get out. And the main yeah. thing is he's coming back with vengeance, and I can't I, I can't wait to see yep. how that that plays out. So uh, again, we do have these final guys here. Why don't we? Uh, well, since we're where look we're where at, Jan's at. Yeah. Look, so, look, look at what Soberjan's doing. Is he going for the arena? Is he was he was scoping it out. He's scoping it out. As long as he knows where it's at, that's huge. He has the. This is a massive advantage because Bravo Wolf just lost two of his, one of for sure his better brothers, the Raider. Uh, getting losing the Raider with all those level ups is huge. huge. It's big. It's big. So why don't we take a quick second here to let's you know let's let's actually bring in Sober Jan real quick. We're gonna get him in here while he's going through. Sober Jan. Right. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hey, my man. So we ended up. We're watching the. We're watching everything going on right now. How you feeling about your run? 
Uh, I'm feeling that I made a stupid mistake when I attacked Caravan in the very beginning, and now I'm about to make another mistake uh, fighting the arena. Oh, so you're gonna go for the arena? That's what's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing he's it. He's gonna do it. Oh, guys, so this is history. Uh, this is history. We'll let you know right now. Not to say nobody else isn't about to do it either, but you technically are gonna be the first person in arena or in in a tournament history to take on the arena, and if you win. Then you'll. That's pretty much what it is. It's based on you winning the arena, but still. Remember, Beepo got his butt kicked in the arena. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like hungry. Hey, it's a solid three points. If you're the only person, or whatever the case may be, this is pretty dangerous. But we will see how it ends up going. But other than that, man, how are you feeling about the tournament? Otherwise, how's how's it working for you? Are you happy with the results thus far? Uh, I'm not really happy because I made a couple mistakes. I basically uh, lost some renown because I wanted to experiment with it and uh, I lost two of my best guys in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But otherwise it's very good because I still, I'm still alive. Right, right. And uh, yeah, I mean, and, and depending on how what you do here is going to be huge. I don't want to hold you too long, Shinobi. Anything you want to add here before? Because I really... Not at all, man. Having a great run. Stick yeah. with it. Yeah, keep it keep it going, man, and we will see you at the finish line, all right? Okay, see you. Okay. Yeah, so he... Th what a great start. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is great, guys, because we, wow. want, we want to see who is... Who's going to be the guy who, can, who takes on the arena? Like, who... You know, who's going to be the guy who wins the first arena? And as of... As it stands right now... It's looking pretty. Uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty good, but we'll see. I can't. I can't. You know. I don't want to over overstate what's what could happen, right? We've already seen in the past. Um. But man, it, it, I'd be. It, it's hard to believe if he doesn't end up coming out with a W in this one. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's already the two spiders down in the first round. Leveled the playing field right out. Right. Just putting in work on him. There's another one down. Last one's breaking. There's our yeah. first arena victory. This is going to be our first arena victory. It goes to Sober. Oh, there it is. Sober Jan. The Sober first. Jan. The first victor in the arena. That is a solid three points. If nobody else goes after it, he will be the he will be the only guy. That's a solid three points. That's the easiest three points you're going to get right there. He could, you know, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. But keeping these guys alive is huge. I, uh, man, what an awesome thing. I will say right now we're looking at uh, Tankalicious. Tankalicious just lost some of his brothers. The worst case scenario happened when he got when they died. They came back to life as uh, <laughs> as the zombies, the right? Gangers. Just killer. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this has been one odd tournament, right? <laughs> just a, just a crazy odd tournament. Absolutely. Bravo Wolf has himself a fight on his hands with a necromancer and a bunch of thugs. Yeah, looks like he's gonna manually retreat from this one. Smart moves, man. Sometimes you gotta know when to just walk away, right? You gotta just yep, hold him and hold him. Hold him and uh, oh, yeah. And so I don't know this guy right here. I think he's got a maybe he's got a club foot. Must be. That's interesting. This guy here. <laughs> He's trying to get, oh man, yeah, he can only go three. So technically they should be able to catch two of those guys. So he might be forced to take this fight. I think, I think that's what he's coming to realize right now. Yeah, I think, looks like that's what's gonna happen. This is so dangerous though. And again, guys, one of the strategies you can do is have a brother in your inventory. So if everybody gets wiped on the battlefield, you still have that last guy. Like they have to keep in perspective the fact that everybody else could be done right now, or just about. If the yep. tournament's still running, that means that you're competing with one other person at least. But we've already had one drop out. Bravo Wolf almost dropped out in that last fight. You got yourself uh, Sober Jan, who just took a huge three points. Uh, and, and I only say that because when you take on the arena, you're getting gold, you're getting kills, and you're getting the arena fight itself. So experience. Oh, and right. experience, right? There's there's a lot of metrics that come with the arena. So yeah, we'll have to see how that works. Um, 
And, you know, you, you had a great thing right there that you threw out that none of our guys have thought about, except for maybe Meepo, that keep that brother back. You've always got a guy. You're always going to be able to submit a score. Right. That is, yeah, and that's the a biggest, lot. that's the biggest flaw <clears throat> when, so far. <clears throat> so. Like, uh, we've got layers to this onion, and it's hard to peel them all back for that perfect run. Right. So, <clears throat> I think what Bravo Wolf is doing right now, I don't know for sure, but it looks like he might be. Wait, he might be putting guys right at the edge, so that way he can kill as many as possible. I don't know. I guess unless he is trying to straight up just retreat, it doesn't look like it. He's trying to get as close to the retreat line as possible, so that if things go south, he can he can uh, walk away with his head high. I, I'm I, right. that's that's my that's just my guess. I don't honestly know, but that's kind of how it looks. So obviously, he's taking on the fight. Man, this is gonna be interesting. I want <clears throat> to just check out, see what else is going on uh, while that's happening. Let's jump over to Tank Alicious again. So Tank Alicious is he's got a lot of brothers now. I mean, they may not have he's got armor. a lot of brothers. Yeah, I mean, eight guys for what it's worth, guys. For what we've seen so far, eight guys is pretty good. Right now, he's in second place with the most guys or second most guys sober jan has the most at the moment i believe he has the most unless he, they're not fighting right now last i saw he did have the most but i, I guess we'll have to wait on that but What's the like armor is huge um, what was that huh i said it looks like he's down to six in this oh yeah i think he's only at six brothers total well i must uh maybe we missed uh i might, might have missed some kills there but Man, I don't know. This is crazy. I, I'm actually thinking this is becoming a little more close than uh, than thought. Than we originally thought. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is what a what a great start this has been. You know, we were worried that everybody was going to wipe in 20 minutes, and there wouldn't be much of a video here. But these guys are really Oof. doing great. Yeah, and this is really ugly here. I, I'm actually uh, pretty concerned for Bravo Wolf here, because as long as they keep bringing guys back to life, now this guy that just died. It's going to be resurrected, and then that means that they're they're gaining nine people on the field. You got one guy running, but killing them instead of letting them run might be a difference. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, Bravo Wolf has been in constant fire since that last fight, and we're gonna to have to see. It's tough. I want to watch some of these other ones. Let's just quickly look at Tankalish. Tankalish is gonna walk. He's he's running out of that one. So let's just keep yep. an eye on Bravo Wolf. What is the strategy here, Shinobi? What are what are we? What's the strategy? Right now, I'm I'm taking that pitchfork, brother, and I'm I'm hitting the road. Yeah, I was I'm about getting to say, that one guy out of there. Yeah, I would honestly, if I was him, I would. Yeah, you have to. That's the only guy who can really conceivably survive this. The problem right now is you're fighting the morale checks. First and foremost, you are fighting morale checks. You have guys that are going coming back to life. You have no weapons that are tr that are going to chop the heads off. You can, uh, you can, uh, you can chop one. The only weapon that can chop a head off is that uh, that sham shear, and yep. that's assuming. Yeah, this is going south fast. I don't know. He needs to. He needs to get somebody out of there. I'm not saying if he if he thinks he can win the fight, great, but. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is legit crazy. And then, m meanwhile, we have Sober Jan, who's in another arena fight. <laughs> He's just having too much fun over there. really trying to solidify those points. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's a good... Oh, you no. You know, he doesn't know that nobody else has been there. Yeah, the, you know what's crazy right now is you have... He, ha he has to get out of there. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is crazy conceivably if oh my gosh the, the zombie just picked oh, up no. the pitchfork out <laughs> of the war what? fork <laughs> what okay this is insane guys this is insane i i give him credit for keep on fighting if this is it's, it's over guys i can tell you that right now uh he is gonna get surrounded and the only chance he has is if he can get the well it's technically it's over the way it looks right now, if one if one of his guys can from run out of the arena, he might have a guy in there his inventory. Go. Oh, and he yeah. got it. He got it. Wow. He he saved his run. Oh my gosh, man. 
I didn't think I thought it was over. I, I was like, okay, well he does have one guy left, but that is just insane. So he's That's... down to one guy left. Cancelled wow. contract. He is looking. Yep. He's but here's the issue. Look at his crowns. He's down to 150 crowns. He's got food for days for one brother. He he is like he is a he is a hurt dog. <laughs> Uh, I sure will. No tools and supplies to repair that armor. If yep. you can buy one guy, it's crazy. You do have Sober Jan over here. He did complete that that uh, arena fight. So, man, man, oh man, guys! In five minutes, we're gonna be going into the hour break. Excuse me. So, wow, still see. still a lot of game to play. There's a lot of game to play, and there is still a chance to turn around. The only difficult part right now is Bravo Wolf is just. Uh, it's, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I, I don't know where this goes. He has to, like, he's taking a, a, he, he, okay. So he does have a lot to sell. He needs, I don't know. There's just so much that has to happen. Uh, there's a lot that has to happen. Now he's check. He's, he's moving on here. We're going to check down at Tankalicious. Tankalicious is doing his caravan runs. I, I'm really surprised. I feel like caravan runs is a scarier thing to do because you may take a quest that goes into a enemy into enemy territory and while you are gaining days it's just the ambush rate it's scary it's scary it's yeah so scary. You, you just don't have the brothers a lot of these guys don't have the full-on brothers you can see even his brothers are injured right now you have the guy with must be a some sort of abdominal injury um but yeah it's i don't know i don't know it's crazy this is crazy uh, uh, I don't know. Doberjan's putting himself together a nice little fighting force down there in the south. Yeah, at this point, the clear, the clear front runner is definitely. Oh, he got some javelins. He did end up with javelins. Yep, yeah, he yep, does have he the got javelins. Some javelin. So it okay. So here's what I'm noticing right now. Bravo Wolf is going town to town right now. I think Bravo Wolf is starting to change up his strategy. He's going for days and towns. I bet. If I'm a betting man, that's what I would say. He's because he's not blowing any crowns really. He doesn't have much to blow crowns. He does have an ambition done. Yes. So. And there is still plenty of plenty of points he can nab just running around with one guy. Right. I mean, little limited since he's a northern raider, but. But he's yeah he's got a whole hour or he's got a whole thirty minutes plus yet. Um, why don't we? Uh, well, we're going to be going to the break. We'll finish up the, the last two. Well, maybe we do this real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to hold off on break for just a second. Why don't we pull in Bravo Wolf real quick, and uh, we'll talk to him and just see what he's what's going on with him. So, Hey, Bravo Wolf, we were watching this. You have been putting us on the edge of our seat like, holy crap, man. My I goodness. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Nail bite. Mm. You're stressing me out. What the hell? I, dude, what, what, where are we at right now? What is it? What's in the headspace? Let the people know. Uh, I misremember. I, th I think I once did something like this. I moved all the way from the necromancer. Then he couldn't raise zombies, but apparently, that's not the case. You know, I, yeah. I obviously, obviously thought wrong, and I had two guys that couldn't move four tiles, so escaping really wasn't right an option so yeah it was it was a huge misplay to take that battle i should just cancel the contract and move on however there you go i, I made the mistake well you know but here's the thing you you still have you still have a selling power i see you're going it looks like you're going for days you understand the crown situation <laughs> i mean what else am i gonna do <laughs> well i know i the only thing i could yeah. think of you know is just taking the you know besides taking the cheapest recruits and so on you're in a situation but it still might not be that bad of a situation. Obviously, we can't tell you what's going on in other with yeah, other yeah, people. Yeah. But I mean, this uh, is the hard start. Like you, you see, I, I was ambushed at the start before I even yep. leveled up, guys, and you know that turned out okay. But now I'm just trying to see if I can get you know non-fighting quests. But no luck, no luck. Ha have you ever tried the Northern Raiders on an unexplored map before? No, no, no. I only played it on explored maps. This this makes it even harder. It takes the no danger idea. to such a higher degree yeah, with a start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, man, no, it's, for... it, it, it's great. It's fun. Uh, I, I had those crazy, crazy fights with, with outlaws and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, I you over, over calculated or misremembered or whatever, you know, brain fart. Let's call it that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. But for what it's worth, man, I think that you've you've handled it very well. I, I well, We were trying to figure out. I, I remember a while back. I know what you're talking about, getting away from the necromancer. But um, when you when you got close to the edge there, I mean, I know a, the old strategy a long time ago was bring everybody right up to that, you know, to the retreat point worst case you retreat out uh but when it got really thick i i that that pole arm jumping out at the last second such a huge oh sigh of relief you know what i mean like mm. um but hey who knows like i said you could still end up with this whole thing you never know we'll see <laughs> that's we'll, we'll, see. we'll what, just what? see what happens so this is this is half hour or what uh yeah so we are at literally at the we're at the hour mark right oh, now. hour okay yep so we have 30 minutes left uh, but yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, man, and we will see you at the end. Yeah, day 15, week three. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, that's great. Isn't that isn't that wild? All right, I have the dogs, of course, freaking out in the background there. I'm going to. We're gonna bring it. We're gonna go into halftime or halftime here. We're gonna go into the the second intermission here. So let's bring in. Uh, cyborg so cyborg what are we looking at obviously a lot of things have happened here uh, let's get let's what do you have for us all right because uh, let's see Bravo wolf was obviously in the lead to kills the star but he uh, hasn't done kills in quite a while so he's only at 42 now he has scored about uh, probably the most towns I think he's around at 10 and he only has one brother at level three unfortunately the, and then uh, Sober John actually has 44 kills, and in this fight, he will probably end up with about 50. He has uh, eight brothers. They're all well leveled. They're all well equipped. But he only—he doesn't have much gold at the moment, compared to Tankalicious, has uh, about 23 kills. He has 13 brothers though, uh, and he hasn't completed any ambitions yet because he, you know, the thing is that the, the uh, start is still pretty fresh. So for sure, Silver John is quite a bit in the lead now, right now, but who knows, maybe he'll uh, make a mistake. Yeah, it's... Could always happen. It definitely could always happen, um, but what a turn of events, right? I mean, I, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago, the landscape was totally different. That's the crazy part. He had two fights where I was almost 100% certain that uh, we were going to lose Bravo Wolf. He would have gone, uh, technically at the time, it looked like first place all the way to third place. Which, Tankalicious restarted tw twice, yes. And he has those negative points, yes. But he could have gotten second place there, which is pretty wild. Now, the game is still rolling. We'll have to see what happens. But just, uh, just crazy, right? So... For sure. What a wild tournament. I love it. Uh any other any other thoughts or anything? Uh Cyborg, any any kind of what what really needs to change here or any ideas of what we what they what maybe like Bravo Wolf can do to uh come back a little? Uh at this point it'd be pretty hard for him to come back unless Soberjan makes a mistake because uh, even uh, even if he would somehow catch up in kills and towns and all that, uh, he he still has that negative eight point modifier for two restarts. Right. So yeah. Yeah, I mean. That's about all I can add. Yeah, really. I guess from that perspective, the big thing for me, the way I'm seeing it is, it went south fast for for Bravo Wolf in two different fights, and then you have yourself Silverjan, which he's he's stacking, he's compiling his brothers, ten. He's in a very healthy lead, but like we all know, all it takes is. You know, one bad fight to go even worse, and yeah, that's just we'll have to see. But ultimately, it looks like the it looks like we have an idea who first, second, third, and fourth will be. Oh no! But we will see. So I'm gonna <clears throat> we'll go from there, guys. We're gonna end up going back here in a second. Uh, thanks again, Medieval. Uh, so guys, with that being said, let's go into a break, and we'll be back in a sec. Grandpa, can you tell me a story about 2020? Ah, uh, 2020. A story of adventure, brotherhood, and the purest love. I joined a mercenary band that year, lost my foot to the diabetes, 
Although, people did think it was the Linworm. Finally, I ended up mugging the love of my life. Huh? Yeah, I f***ed that melon so f***ing hard. Oh my god! Yep, the town was pissed, but I corked that melon something fierce, and I regret nothing. Grandpa, what the f***? Alright guys, we're into stage three. Obviously things are starting to shape out pretty significantly. Um, what you had missed a second ago was Bravo Wolf got <clears throat> smushed between two uh, outlaw armies. And so it's he, he was fine, obviously. He just ran away and it worked out. But he is still traveling to find those quests uh, that can give him something. He needs something. And he's just seeing it. I mean, it's really unfortunate. The one thing I will say, though, uh, he'll get the days. Even if he dies out right now, like, he just needs to hold is ultimately what it comes down to. Uh, securing his second place position, there's just no way. I mean, don't get me wrong. Unless Tankalicious comes up with some crazy stat or some crazy uh, stats that can get him, um, which can pull him into an eight-point deficit, <laughs> you know, or out of the eight-point deficit, it just looks... It looks like we're finding where we're at. I mean, just it's just showing the, the true colors of what's happening in this tournament. Right, and with Bravo Wolf being the only man, the only competitor that's completed an ambition, he's got that bonus point. He's still got plenty of metrics that he can take first in with the groundwork that he's laid up to this point. Right. He is cruising through those days, though. <laughs> you know what? He, well, yeah, days. Yeah. He, days settlements he could still squeak out a friendly relation right. with one of these guys yeah and meanwhile you have uh you have sober jan he's he's got he's got the armor well not completely i guess can't say that he does have he has a better he's just overall better suited for all these fights he's got his uh he's got everything he really he uh he needs really with these spears to the consolidated spear wall it's just crazy I, this whole tournament has gone up and down i thought to myself at the beginning i'm like well if we lose two combatants right off the bat we're down to two guys this is going to be a long tournament and we're starting to get into the final leg of the tournament and understanding that you know this is this is just what what we're dealing with you know what i mean like it's just it's the name of the game so it's such a fickle beast, and you know I'm I'm really happy to see Bravo Wolf getting a caravan mission with no attacks, no nothing, good easy money, some days burned up there. Right. All right. Well, then how about we do this? We have one more guy we have to we have to talk to. It's going to be Tank Alicious. Let's bring him. Let's bring him in while he's he's not getting into a big fight or anything. Tank Alicious, you on a caravan Yo. ride? You had some wild beginnings. You're still in it. What are we? What are we thinking, man? How how are we feeling? It, it just don't screw it up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, your comeback so far has been very impressive, though, for what it's worth. And who knows? Who knows what's going on beyond you? You 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 never know, right? You just never know. I know it sounds oh. crazy, but. No, never give up, never surrender, man. It's all good. That's right. I've lost some heads, man. It's been fun watching my bros die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, some sort of enjoyment. That's good. Um, yeah. What are we? What are you kind of working for now? Like, where are we at in terms of what you're trying to achieve here? Um, right now, I'm trying to achieve not dying and making a little extra cash. I want to hopefully get a retinue, man. Um... I was going for the uh, banner, but I don't know how much time I've left. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So, pretty mm -hmm. much, not die and just make quick cash. Well, I can and, tell you, uh, right now we have we're at we have 20 minutes left of the turn. Okay. So, obviously, I'll give everybody the heads up when we get to five minutes. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's been quite the tournament across the board. I mean, there's just been some wild events, obviously, and yours, your, you obviously had some of the biggest, uh, the biggest effects early on in the first 30 minutes. But I think uh, still continuing, still taking on the fight, you know what I mean, is is huge. Cause oh, you just, yeah. you just never know. You, you really, nobody <laughs> knows 
what's really going on or where where everyone where everyone's going to land. So, uh, how's the stress been though? How how is that kind of compiled? Oh man, after after the dire wolf debacle, like I think that was my second go. I was just like, all right, well, I don't need to worry about winning. I'm just going to play. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. There you go. No, that's good though. Sometimes that's yeah. what you need. I think that's what happened with Rock Prime. Rock Prime looked at it like, hey, either I'm gonna do something or it's gonna be nothing. And he went all in with something. It, what turned out to be just having fun, uh, or what was supposed to be just having fun, turned into holy crap, maybe I have a chance. And he ended up taking the tournament, even with that Absolutely. negative four. And <clears throat> if you think about it, he could have had two restarts. You know what I mean, and still have had a he would I think he would have just nabbed second or tied for first, which <clears throat> I don't know if he had the most renown, whatever the case is, but still, there's a chance. That's Absolutely. What so, all right, well, we'll give you a heads up, and when we get to the five minute mark. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is this is where we're at. Um. What I, I don't even it's been wild, guys. Yeah, I you know, Oh the, no. Yeah. Sober Jan's retreating. Yep, Sober Jan is on his way. Oh my gosh. He does have two of his brothers. He's got a few brothers that it looks like they will make it out. Oh my gosh, guys. So what did we just say a second ago? If Oh my gosh. This means that Bravo Wolf has a chance. If these guys end up killing, he's going to have... Oh, oof. Oh. He might go out with just two guys, which... <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's this it's never crazy. over, guys. It's never over. That's the thing. That's what you need to keep in mind. It's never over. you got to keep fighting. This is exactly what happens. He took on a fight. This this is probably gut wrenching to him. He had one guy escape. It looks like this other guy is gonna escape. He's down to two guys left. All of them brothers are dead. All that he has <clears throat> taken on. He cancels the contract. He's probably a little stressed. If you look at it, he doesn't have the days. And if you think about it, Tankalicious is right on his heel when it comes to days as well. Which means that Bravo Wolf is securely in the lead with days and probably settlements. So. This is just, holy crap, holy crap. You know, I, I really thought that it was it was almost solidified. I can't. I need to just hold my tongue. I can't even. I, I shouldn't even have uh, made that. We uh, we can't make yeah. predictions anymore. It just doesn't work. And this is why, guys. <laughs> this is why we love this idea of this tournament. It, it's, <laughs> anything's possible. He does have four guys left, so he must add two injured guys in his reserve. But still. This has complicated things to a far greater level because he lost his starting brothers. He only has one. Uh, he has one brother, but I don't think that he. Uh, he there's one brother that may be. Gosh, look at look at that obituary! Oh, oh, wow, man. man, man, that grave for the company is definitely widened. But being Bravo Wolf, <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. Bravo Wolf is also going to have the most days in tournament history, so he will go down as that until somebody can break it. Uh, that's becoming more apparent. And Gosh, he's just having such good luck running between these towns right now. Well, when you don't have to pay any money, though, I mean, he—that's the huge part. He doesn't have a lot in terms yeah. of what he has to pay, so he can conceivably keep building up his crowns. So, right now, as it stands. He more than likely is going to win the crown metric. As long as he keeps doing what he's doing, uh, he could win the count crown metric. He could win the most settlements. He could win the mo uh, most days. He's going to win the most days. There's it's not even a chance. It's not there's not even a contest there. So, however, keep in mind, even like Sober Jan has probably the kills. He's more than likely has the kills. He has the, the, levels. the levels. He has the arena, which he's the only one with the arena. So Sober the Jan renown, is... The renown, possibly. Yeah, possibly the renown. But I think Sober Jan is still firmly in the lead. Um, I think he's still firmly in the lead. I don't... What is he going to do here? Why is he going back there? What is... Well, this is a different one. It's, it's, it's a different quest here. So, 
Yeah, but it's still a terrible idea after that last one. Goodness. Well, I, I don't know. I think this is I, more that's manageable. I feel. I, I, just, I, yeah. I, I, I like licking my wounds after I get my butt kicked to that degree by no mads. Like, all right, I'm going to leave you guys alone for a minute. Yeah. Well, it's funny because a lot of these guys are, are just taking on the self. Like, they are just staying in the self. Which in, in itself is a whole nother... <laughs> it's a whole nother ride. I am so curious to see who's going to win. It, in the next 15 minutes, we're, when I say the five minute bell, again, what we've noticed a lot more, especially with the offline tournaments or like the, the practice tournaments, is when you say there's five minutes left, like anything can happen. Guys get a little, I don't want to say completely desperate. Oh, we have bear. Oh no, Bravo Wolf is being chased by a noble house. I, yep. I gotta imagine they have dogs. Okay, he, he caught him in the mountains, so he should be fine. But that is just a terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible thing to have happen. Seven brigands oh, now. No. He's just being chased around the map. I think he'll be all right. He, he had to dodge and weave a little bit. He's about to get some more crowns. Anything he can do for more crowns. He's out of food on top of that. Oh no, he's got to wait a second too. Imagine if his brother just up and walks away. <laughs> like, just walks away because he has no food left. No I don't food. know if he realizes that. Hopefully he doesn't go too far. I'm so curious. And that's the mindset of the tournament. You, you overlook simple things. We've seen quite a few guys do that when it comes to food or tools. Yeah. So I think you're right about Sober Jan, man. I didn't think that this was what it was going to come to, but those guys overwhelmed, took out a good deal of his brothers. He can still obviously win it, but it's a few good shots against his brother could be devastating. Okay, so he's going to get that. Ooh. He really needs to... Oh, my goodness. There it is. So he is going to come out with that. My goodness, these things that are happening are just... This is just nail-biting. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, if Sober Jan... This is the crazy thing. This is nuts. So if, if Bravo Wolf gets caught and he gets, you know, and he's in a situation where he cannot run, then you have, and he dies, you have Sober Jan who, if he gets caught by a bad fight like that, then, you know, it's anything, anything can go south. Like, if, if they both lose out, then Tankalicious wins by default. <laughs> that, that to me. <laughs> yeah, what do, what do you do? That's Holy insane. Cow. That's wild. Uh, absolutely absurd. But again, that also means, <laughs> to be fair, that means that Tankalicious has to win this fight as well. I mean, these guys, I feel like this has been just a, a cluster. Like, just a cluster of bad events. And, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm curious where, what these guys are are trying to accomplish okay so we got ourselves a caravan with sober jan that's probably a good idea get some more days you don't have exactly the crowns just at the moment a lot of towns hate you <laughs> it's an ugly situation yeah you, I, not a lot of places you can go not a lot of trading you can do mm -hmm. uh i'm amazed that these guys have taken the caravans like this i usually just stay away from them it's too risky get you too close to the north and out pops a mercenary company Right. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. And now they're going after the donkey, so... Oh, no, 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 maybe not. Uh, with Tankalicious there. Oof. Yeah, this is a tough spot for him, but I it, think he's yeah. still got every opportunity to come out of it. I. It just feels like across the board, there's a lot of crashing going on right now. Like, it just feels like everybody's just... They, they got to keep in perspective. We're coming up to the end. We're 10 minutes out from the end. We're just about 10 minutes out from the end. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. But it is cool to see some of these change, like the idea that we have 30, we're day 30 with Bravo Wolf. It's cool to see that we are going to have a tournament high. Uh, once we get to five, guys, once we get through the five uh, different tournaments, we're going to... Whoever has the highest of something, I just don't see somebody surpassing 30 days at this point. So, assuming that next tournament, 
he is still ha nobody passes that I could see this being a massive win uh, as you can see right now my PC is having its issues it does this every random it ends up pausing you guys can still hear me yet uh, but but generally you, again we're gonna we're gonna take all everybody's stats we're gonna put them up they're gonna have their own scoreboard essentially saying this person so far in tournament history has the most days this person has the most friend relationships this guy has the most kills this guy has this and that and the other thing so you know stay tuned for that again we're tracking if, it we're yeah yeah, we're keeping record. Yeah. This is a big deal to us. Yeah, and it's really cool. Like, Sober Jan is actually one of the guys who has been following the stats as well. Uh, I have a whole Excel spreadsheet on everybody. So, but for somebody to, to from the outside perspective, uh, following the points, tallying the points, it's a very cool thing to see that people are that interested in this type of uh, tournament. So, definitely a cool thing. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens as this commences it's getting kind of it's getting kind of uh you know i feel like we're starting to hope, plane out but yeah i hope so i hope we're winding down i can't take much more of this well if people keep losing <laughs> if people keep losing just, their lives it's yeah. exciting <laughs> oh it's so exciting yeah meanwhile probably no, got... still pushing here just try and He's just dancing around danger. <laughs> yeah, he's dancing around. Uh, 32 days, though. That's pretty impressive. Let's go back over to Sober Jan. Yeah, Sober Jan. He's attacking a caravan. Yep. I'll take advantage. Get that money. I think I the main do. thing I love here it. is the money. Yeah, at this point, if he can just, if he can solidify the more money, he does have, he technically, it's crazy, but Tankalicious has three points with the most brothers at this point. Uh, leveling has to go to Sober Jan. Sober Jan just needs to stay. You know, he just needs to stay consistent here. He, he, just, he just needs to stay and and not do anything that's over aggressive, like this. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like exactly <laughs> that. Uh, when these guys start coming out, they're trying to. He, like, I don't know. He's he's playing with fire. I feel like, and hopefully he realize he's not going to realize where he's at in the tournament. But man, <laughs> it's that's ugly. That is very ugly. But no, uh, like I imagine all these guys have had rough starts or hit a wall, and I bet none of them think like, "Hey, you know what? I'm in first place." Yeah, I, I cannot imagine. I really can't imagine. I couldn't imagine being in either of them, uh, either of their spots. But for what it's worth, and how they're playing, I feel like all three of them are, are you know, they're just they're, they're they're sticking to what's best. I mean, what's what's best for their company? I mean, literally, Bravo Wolf is just walking around. He he is a he is he is truly a, a wanderer. He's a daytailer. He's a he's a messenger. He's he's <laughs> you know he's playing those metrics. You, know, and, you got to. And that's how we built this scoring system. That you're not out. Different play styles can still take the game. You know what'd be really crazy is if. If Bravo Wolf is literally this whole time, he's just getting all that money so that he can go to the southern city states and get all of, like, a bunch of indebted last second. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Well, and that's a, then he gets his, then he gets his men. He can fill out, all yep. he needs to have is, right now in terms of crowns, I mean, it's, it's not even a, it's not even a, uh, it's not even a challenge at this point. Crowns ahead, like, he is much... He's doing so much better in that department. But if he can get a bunch of indebted or really cheap, even if it's cripples or he can get beggars, just fill out his party, he can hit those metrics. He can surpass everybody, get three more points. It's, I don't know. I, I just don't know. There's other, it looks like we have a definitive first place, but anything can happen. And sadly right now, I'm looking at Tangalicious and this could be, I don't know. I think he'll be all right, but I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, this late in the game, I wouldn't yeah. risk it. Well, I think his thought is, hey, if I take on this caravan, I get all the, whatever I need, I can get more money. I get it, solidify second place. It's not going to be too hard to pass Sober Jan at 277 crowns. <laughs> it, it looks very no. possible. Oh, and he's actually, he's already got his brothers naked and everything. I think he's going to hold right where he's at, so... 
Uh, we, we are about at five minutes. I'm going to let them know. So, here we go. Sounds good. Yep, so. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. What a crazy ride this whole tournament has here, been, hold, huh, guys? Hold on, hold on a second. Here. I hope that you five and Homer... Five minutes left. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second here. Just want to make sure they don't hear us. <laughs> five minutes left. Okay. All right, go ahead. This... What a wild ride. If you guys are enjoying it half as much as Puggo and I have, we did our jobs right. Like, yeah. this has been crazy. For sure. Uh, and guys, please, hit that like. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit that bell so that way you guys can be updated when this does happen. And uh, finally, uh, don't forget to join the Discord. Join the community, guys. We are out and about. Uh, Shinobi is the, he's the guy who sets up these events and so on. So if you are interested, come on in. You'll know Shinobi. He's got he's got a blue indicator on his with his name, and uh, yeah, we all the tournament info, info is in there. And you know, stay tuned for the video that's going to drop for all the tournament information as well. Uh, we are looking for more commercial ideas. I haven't been doing much of that as of recent, but we're going to be jumping back in this week or this past week, even into the next week with more commercials, so you guys have more fun to enjoy the battle brother parodies and in the discord we've got a great group of guys from all over the world we play many games we get together and chat just stream things it's a good place to hang out there's a little over 100 of us now we're blowing up yeah and you might get lucky too if you are you know a lot of times i'll jump on and be like hey guys i'm going to be playing this game if you want to join me go for it and I, <laughs> we did a Barrow Trauma run. If you guys haven't seen that, you can see that on the channel. It's already uh, this past Sunday. It ended up, or this past Saturday, it aired. So if you guys haven't seen that, this is a bunch of random guys that jumped in. Shinobi was a part of it. And uh, they didn't know that they were being recorded. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was a, it was a oh, fun. Oh, you sneaky devil. <laughs> yeah. So this is pre-recorded, obviously. Uh, Shinobi just found out about it. It's going to be fun. We'll see what happens. But nonetheless, guys, um, it's a good time. We're coming down to the wire here. So hey, this is this is you've got an ambition there. Who got the ambition? Take a look. We completed an ambition. Nice. Very good. So right now, this is where it gets interesting. We have ourselves two and a half minutes left. Two and a half minutes. Oh. And you have... Bravo Wolf, who's, you know, he he's, I'm sure he's comfortable where he's at. He has 37 freaking days. That's nuts. And then you have... And he's just running through enemy territory, trying to find as many settlements as he can. Mm -hmm. But one of the crazy things right now hey, this is... This is amazing. Yeah, he's going for all the towns. He's going, he's going ham right now. So then you have, but here's the other thing. Sober Jan right now, he has to... Like, this is a dangerous fight in itself. Um, he's gonna, it looks like he'll be fine, but he's really running out of time here. We're under the two minute mark and, uh, he's got to sell all his stuff. That is a huge part of it. If he can even surpass one of the guys, which it's not going to happen, obviously with Bravo Wolf, he's, he's sticking to his strategy. Tankalicious, uh, he's in a situation too. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But Tangalicious is actually doing the same strategy right now. He is going for all the houses. He's trying to get as many houses as possible. <laughs> risky, this risky, is great but to see hey. what these guys are up to here. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think Sober Jan's going to end up with all of the. I think he's going to end up with the most kills. It looks like that's inevitable. But look at Bravo. <laughs> he's got his naked guy with the, with the monk haircut. <laughs> Just just on, running. On, oh, this is just great. Just running the land naked. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, never in <clears throat> did I think it would come down to a bunch of guys just running around on a map. <clears throat> and that, that to me, that's cool. It shows that we're scoring a lot of the right things. Well, and they're... They understand the situation. That's what matters the most, in my opinion, is they're they're all under different tension right now. You know, and but now Sober Jan is officially starting to sell off all his stuff. He's trying to get his level ups. Uh, he's going as quickly as possible to get this stuff off. He has got to move. Literally, there's 40 seconds left. 
It looks like he's going to be able to accomplish this, but yeah, he's going to accomplish it. What a deal. Hopefully again, Tangalicious gets in there. not putting him... Even if he doesn't, he's still comfortably ahead of him in crowns. Right. Oh, man, Tankalicious. I don't know if he sold everything. I don't know if he's going for days. But hopefully, hopefully that's the case. Something here. Wow. Soberjan just sold off to the Recruit oh. Brothers. That's going to do it right there, guys. So I'm going to... All right, guys, everybody pause. Everybody pause. We're going to stop right there. That is going to conclude uh, this portion of the tournament, guys. We're going to go to a quick break, and then we're going to end up seeing who won first, second, third, and fourth place. Stay tuned. In the arms of... Right, guys everything is tallied in we are ready to go starting out fourth place technically was Tigran now Tigran when he lost uh, we didn't get any of his stats and he uh, had to get going so ultimately we weren't able to do anything with that uh, so that's I mean it's a mystery it's a mystery what would have happened there this would have changed the board significantly if he had won even one category and so technically we're gonna go with third place which is interesting. <laughs> uh, third place ended up being Tankalicious. Now Tankalicious, across the board, he ended up getting second place in days. He was fighting for the days at the very end. That's a big portion of this. Uh, but ultimately, what really shined the most with Tankalicious, even, even though he had lost two runs, he ended up getting a negative eight points to his total. He still, in his third run, had been probably the most efficient overall when it came to taking on quests and so on at 366 renown. That's incredible, especially because we're talking about the Northern Raiders run. Now, in terms of brothers, he was at six, which was more of the lesser. He was kind of in the middle, actually. Uh, levels 22, uh, gold 1,275. So he was very consistent across the board. He did look for those settlements. He did uh, stack up them kills at 66, as you can see on the screen. Um, very, very solid, very, very solid run for that. It's unfortunate he, he did have those losses. It could have changed everything. Now, this is where the grand, <laughs> the grand issue arises. Unbelievably mind blowing. We do have a tiebreaker between first place and second place. And unfortunately, even after the tiebreaker, we had a tie between Bravo Wolf and Sober Jan. This officially makes Tankalicious second place and first place Bravo, Bravo again, Bravo Wolf and Sober Jan. This is freaking mind blowing because they ended up with a saw. Oh, sorry. Tankalicious did have nine points, by the way, because of the eight being off of 17. But check this out Bravo Wolf and Sober Jan ended up with 17 points each, also. This officially means that all three of these guys, had Tankalicious not have gone out, would have had 17 points across the board. Tigran not getting his points pretty much made it so that the points weren't diversified enough to know who won. So let's look at Bravo Wolf to start. Uh, Bravo Wolf had 39 days. This is by far a crazy record. This, this blows it out of the water of anybody else. I believe the only other one was 28 days. So uh, he is gonna have his name on the <laughs> the most days for a while I imagine his renown was 92 a lot of this has to do again with the run that you're doing in general and on top of that uh, when you lose your brothers and so on you don't have uh, that solid 
solidified group to continue the renowned boosting. One brother, obviously you guys saw that, three levels. One relation, he was the only guy with relations and he had that 3,500 gold. That is huge because obviously he was trying to work as much metrics as possible, most settlements, uh, 31 kills. It, it was a, a very, very solid recovery. Uh, had some crazy events happen in that. Then there was Soberjan. Now Soberjan looked at looked like he was going to win it. He unfortunately took some losses, which did bring his final total down. This is unfortunate because it would have made a huge difference. Obviously, you have 16 days, 98 renown. Now, that's six away from taking that first place away. You know what I mean? That's uh, that, that would have been the difference of this fight or this uh, tournament. You have 13 brothers, which he excelled there, levels 12. Uh, two arena, he's the first person ever to win the arena, and on top of that, do two arena fights, which ultimately uh, helped him solidify his position as well. He had the most kills at 81, 10 settlements, and that is how the cookie crumbles. Unbelievable. Completely shocked. Shinobi, do you have any thoughts before we start going into talking to these guys? My mind is blown that before the negative points were calculated, we had a three-way tie. I, I mean, impossible in my eyes. So then we go on to the next two guys. They're, they're tied. We go to the tiebreaker. They're still tied. What are the odds of that? Like, if anybody out there watching this can figure that out, let me know. This is crazy. I thought it was impossible. Yeah, I love I love being proven wrong. Yeah, I mean it definitely it definitely came down that way. I'm I'm shocked too. We tried. We don't want to change the point system any more than what we did, just just out of fairness of everybody who was competing. But um, but with that being said, we're gonna move over to so we're gonna start with Bravo Wolf because in technicality he more than he he would have technically had the win because he still had his campaign when we were trying to do the the third or the second tiebreaker. But uh, you know it's it's just a, it's a tough one it's a, it really is it puts it in a tough position but bravo wolf um man you had some wild events happen during your run uh you almost got wiped twice unfortunate events things just it, you know you said it was just little errors i'm gonna let you take away and give your thoughts on uh how you feel about all of it and so on well how i feel about it is this is this is super fun that's you know i'm just i'm just repeating what everybody so far playing in these tournaments have said but it really really is having the the pressure uh just 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 having a stake to play you know uh, against we're not competing for money but it doesn't matter we are competing for the love of the game and we have something to prove and then uh it's just you know my my hand hand was shaking on the mouse and my heart was beating when I got into that fight with Outlaws and I realized I can't, I can't run because one of my guys has the injury that will, uh, you know, keep him there. I decided to, to stand my ground and I was like, okay, we either win or lose and it looked like we're going to lose. It was just crazy. It's, it's just, you care. You care so much more and I love it. I want to go again. Like I said, I want to go again. Yeah, I think the, the second thing, the, the fact that you kept fighting after the fact is huge you kept going for those talents you kept uh getting as much crowns as you had you said yourself even you went from town to town for about 10 minutes and could not find a contract that was passive where you could just make some sort of income right um yeah that was that was the plan like to to at least to get a little bit of money get some guys get back into the game but 10 minutes nothing and then when the money started coming in i decided it's just too late then i just wanted to go for uh, money days and in the very end settlements yeah. which is you know what led to this tiebreaker otherwise you know but but again i i just would have wiped uh the the last guy running away was like uh, we just laughed about it after uh you know while what, what you were calculating how of all these mean barbarian raiders my sole survivor was the monk and how he <laughs> must have he must have prayed really really hard to to run away in that battle against zombies which i never should have taken but there you go brain fart yep um and yeah the the lone survivor was was the monk so yeah it was it was exciting and there was one thing that i could have done you know just run around and try to get money but you know i, I did what i could that's what the the that's what's interesting about the playing for points you know uh if if you didn't have those metrics then it would be completely pointless for me to do anything right. but i did what i could well and you did you did a great job shinobi you want to add anything 
Yeah, man, it was fantastic to watch you on this run. I had a, a great time doing commentary on it. You started out very strong. You know, you got you had that very, very first bump and got past it. You were the first guy to find a friendly settlement, and you just got right to work. And honestly, in the beginning, it looked like it was it was going to be a blowout, and the other guys started kicking back in, and it, it was a really fun competitive match. And you did great. Thanks for being a part of it. Yeah, right on. So with that, then we're going to move over to to Silver Jan. You also got first place, obviously. Um, man, you, you had you were in in terms of watching the whole tournament. You seemed to be the most consistent uh, with your brothers, but you had like. Very, at the very end, last 20 minutes, you had like two fights that just notched you down to to a, a lesser level, which honestly brought this to a closer consensus. What what do you how do you feel about everything with the tournament, and also what was your kind of strategy, and uh, and how how do you feel about how this ended? Mm, I feel super excited about the tournament. It was a great pleasure to compete with other folks, uh, and uh, like Rebel Wolf said. Uh, if it wasn't for the tournament, I would have given up on the company, but uh, I had to uh, take as much points as I could, so I tried to fight till the last moment. My main tactic was to accomplish three ambitions and to grab the arena points, because nobody has grabbed one yet. Uh, so I traveled down to the arena. Um, made uh, a fortune out of it and out of southern city states, and uh, I decided to risk fighting uh, some gnomes, and uh, that risk uh, uh, kicked my ass. Yeah. Uh, Shinobi? Yes. It was uh, just fantastic, Sober Jan. We had high hopes for you coming into this one. You handled the adversity well, you didn't go out, and man. You had a really great force built up there at the end of the game, and I, I thought that at that point you were just going to start steamrolling battles, and that RNG hit you with those nomads. Yeah, the risk you take, though, and that's the beauty of this, guys. And I, we've talked about it many times. When you come to the very la the last thirty minutes, you know after the interview. The interview is a good way to uh, kind of maybe maybe release a little bit of tension, but also understand where the time is at and and uh, what's what's left ahead of you but also when you know that the the time is starting to crunch it does bite down on you and it does add this other layer of you know i have to sell off everything i have to take my final fights take the final crowns how many crowns do i want to end with and and all that and so on but like silver jan i felt like for what it's worth your consistency was 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 awesome i mean this is what you I don't know what's your overall strategy beyond just like going to the south, going to the arena. I was kind of surprised that a lot of people ended up uh, in the south in the sands and whatnot. But uh, definitely, the the kicker was you being able to solidify the arena wins and even take away the, the kills and the the gold that came with it. So definitely a great job, great job, man, great job. Thank you. All right, so then that leaves us with our final guy here, Tankalicious, Stink Bottom. <laughs> Dude, you, sir, had a you had yourself a run. This is the crazy thing, guys. This is where it gets wild. So, so, so pretty much, uh, Tankalicious, you ended up getting wiped two times. You actually had paused, and it seemed like you were down, like you you weren't gonna come back in, you weren't gonna keep competing. But the truth of the matter is, there's a lot of opportunity that other people might be going through the same thing you were going through. You came back in, you built your force up, you stayed very consistent, honestly, in the same way. Like you started to go along the lines of Sober Jan and how he was going about it. You ended up getting the levels. You won the levels. You won the. Uh, you won the renown by a landslide um, and even like kills you were behind second place you had the second most settlements you literally had you have done this exact same run and had that extra time that you lost it's a very very high chance that you would have won this tournament on top of that uh, even if you didn't end up winning it you would have been you you technically with your score without that negative eight you all three of you guys tied across the board which 17 17 17 good night um so with that being said 
How are you feeling? What do you think? And uh, just let's get let's get your thoughts on everything. Yeah, uh, the the first five minutes of this run were just nuts for me. It's uh, Battle Brothers at its finest. Um, and then when I when I did leave and it looked like I was quitting, I actually kind of thought that after my two eliminations, I was gone. And then Shinobi's like, "No, you can still keep going." So I'm like, "Oh shoot!" Jump back in and put the axe to the grindstone and just try and slay as many bodies as possible without losing bros, but I lost a ton of bros and it was so much fun, man. I was shaking, oh, like what Bravo said, my my anxiety was through the roof and I haven't felt like that in a, a long time. That was so much dang fun. And uh, yeah, I was, I was really happy to compete and I'd like to thank you guys for putting this all together, man. This was a freaking blast. And if anybody is thinking about doing it, they absolutely should because this was the most fun hour and a half of Battle Brothers I've played in a long time. That's awesome. I second man. that. I second that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and really, the the thing is, you know, and just know, guys, when you join this tournament and stuff, you're not <clears> out. You're, the the only point that you're out is after 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you get that time and you can restart whatever. That's at your own risk. But beyond 30 minutes man it's do or die unfortunately <clears throat> excuse me unfortunately with with you that with that time frame you did lose out probably on five minutes and stuff but <clears throat> you did a great job you kept very consistent um and i'm glad to hear that everybody's kind of sharing that same experience you know but do you want to add anything I mean, absolutely man it was so much fun watching you go through this and you know, you and I have been talking for days. You're like, man, I just don't want to crash and burn. I, was <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't want to crash and burn. And you crashed <laughs> and you burned gloriously. It was so spectacular. And is I was talking to Puggo when you were fighting the wolves. And I was like, okay, well, I think, you know, if he's smart, he's going to take an, another four right now and, and just go for it again. And then you sat there. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what the misconception was. That was my fault. I don't know. I was, I sent, no, it's okay. So I sent you a message like, go on. No, it was the same with, with Tigran. He sent me a message like, all right, well, I'm done. I was like, no, no, no keep fighting. Like, yeah. Yeah. you guys are definitely fighting for third and fourth still. Like, you got you are battling it out for those places. <clears throat> and if you, it, it's uh, crazy. All three of you guys, the, the point diversity in this tournament was amazing you guys all spread it out in different areas snatched up first place in different areas and all tied at 17 points without that negative eight that yeah. it's crazy to me and it shows like how how many different play styles can be rewarded how adapting to your situation can still be rewarded and really no matter what you're you're still always in the fight nice. absolutely um you don't know if the guy next to you blew up <laughs> right yeah and that's and that's part of it i mean you just don't know what's going on but ultimately guys with that being said um i want to i want to just give a final thought with tigran uh you guys heard his like when we ended up doing his interview as he had ended up he had just lost and uh the guy is a fighter he is going to come back he's going to compete again unfortunately again if we had tigran's stats we would have been able to because really all the stats went between three guys but if tigran had we had gotten his stats it could have it would have we would have known 100 percent who ended up winning but uh but that's the name of the game guys i'm going to open up the floor one last time here before we call it any uh final thoughts from everybody uh, or anybody uh, on on just any of this great oh, job to everybody just... sorry that's it go ahead <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just thinking how, how RNG is, is crazy when you're talking about these things. It turns out that we were six points uh, difference on Renown, Soberjan and me. And I'm pretty sure I lost those uh, to uh, Brigands catching me and then I had to retreat twice from them. Oh, yeah. And every time you retreat, you lose you lose points. And I thought it doesn't matter because I have so such a low Renown, it won't matter. But imagine that, those, those two retreats in a row from same Brigands just crazy just crazy like it's really you should never give up and try to maximize everything because you never know what's going to be rewarded uh really really thank you for putting this together i would never i would never come up with something like this like imagine battle brothers as a tournament it would never occur to me but you guys are geniuses and i'm grateful to have been a part of it 
Oh man, I well, we, we appreciate yeah. it. I, I don't know what Virginia says. That's probably the highest praise we've gotten. And we, all of you guys, for being part of this, this wouldn't happen without you guys. So thank all of you. Yeah, no doubt. Um, all right. Well, <clears throat> so Virginia, anything? I, I know I seen you light up for a second there. Uh, no, no, no. I just wanted to thank you all, guys, uh, for doing it. All right. Well, hey, you know, guys, again, final word. Uh, highly encourage you join the discord it's in the description below be a part of this if you don't want to compete and you want to do what medieval cyborg had done and he came in off of wimp like i said yesterday last night he came in saying hey i'd like to help you guys out we said hey we don't have anybody for this you'd have to take it on he took it on like a freaking champ i think the mvp of this the first place in my opinion is him i know that's maybe i'm going overboard but Literally, this guy did this on the fly, and you did a valiant job. Uh, huge thanks, Medieval Cyborg, for that. Um, yeah. Thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun, just like the, uh, the competitors. Yeah. So, hey, guys, any role you want to jump in, you want to be a part of it, you do get credit for it, of course. we don't. We, nobody gets paid to do this. This is all community-based uh, you know, based and so on. So... With that being said, please hit that like, subscribe again, join the Discord, hit that bell so you know when the next tournament does come out. And uh, also, Bravo Wolf, does, he's a Twitch streamer. If you guys haven't heard of him, you've been playing Battle Bros for a long time. Awesome guy. Bravo Wolf, you want to give your handle to that? Um, I changed it recently. I think it's Bravo Wolf underscore WWS okay. on Twitch. Right on. I will get a link in the description as well if you guys want to check that out. So. Uh, go ahead, go out and follow him. And uh, with that being said, guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye.